Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the Infinity Vision platform. Right now I'll be doing one such question that came in your JE main examination. This question came on 1st September 2021 in shift 2. So let us see this question first. Question says, there are two infinitely long straight current carrying conductor and they are held at a right angle to each other. So that means you have been given two uh, infinite long current carrying conductors. This is one conductor which is infinitely long and this is and this one is second conductor which is also infinitely long and they are at 90 degree to each other okay so this is the expression which is given to you this setup which is given to you now the ratio of the current in both the conductor is 1 ratio 1 so that means the current in this and this is same and let it be i so the magnetic field at a point p is so what would be the magnetic field at this point p because of these two wires that need that you need to find out okay so first of all it is a long infinitely long current carrying conductor it is at a distance of this distance is y meter from this this perpendicular distance from the lower most infinitely long current current carrying conductor is y and what about this distance this perpendicular distance from this current carrying conductor is x okay so now we'll write the expression for the magnetic field at a perpendicular distance because of the infinite because of the finitely current carrying conductors and what is it it is equivalent to magnetic field if this is a current carrying conductor whose current is i so at certain distance r from it the magnetic field can be given by expression we already know that it is equivalent to mu naught i divided by 4 pi r and if this is finite conductors and this angle is if it is theta 1 so this angle if it is theta 2 so it would be equal to cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2 so this is the expression that we already know knowing this expression now we can easily find out the potential uh, magnetic field because of this wire okay so I hope this this expression is clear to everyone so we'll be solving this question now see the perpendicular distance from this point is y okay and this wire has got infinitely long carrying conductor and so this this the other end of this is at an infinite distance so don't you think this angle would be zero degree okay and its exterior angle this angle if this angle is theta 2 so this angle would also be theta 2 so this angle is 180 degree minus theta 2 okay because remember what we have done is we have to take inside angle and we have to take exterior angles okay in order to find out the magnetic field so the magnetic field because of this wire would be b let it be b it would be equal to mu naught i divided by 4 pi r r is a perpendicular distance which is y cos theta 1 cos in this angle this angle is 0 so cos theta 1 it uh, is 0 so cos 0 degrees 1 cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2 theta 2 is the exterior angle this angle is 180 degree minus theta 2 so it would be equal to cos 180 degree minus theta 2 so this is the expression that we are getting okay so now for, we'll further solve it it would be mu naught i by let it be b1 mu naught i by 4 pi y 1 cos theta 1 we already know that this cos 180 degree minus theta 2 would be equal to minus my mi, uh, would be equal to minus theta 2 so minus minus would become plus so you will eventually you will get cos theta 2 okay so we will further solve it let it be b1 it would be equal to mu naught i by 4 pi y so 1 plus what is cos theta 2 in this triangle this distance is x this distance is y so cos theta 2 would be equivalent to base by hypotenuse base is x by root of x square plus y square so this is the final uh, value of magnetic field because of the this long carrying conductor and it is also inward because the magnetic field because it's, this is it has to be inward using right hand thumb rule so it would be inward and this would be its magnitude so we'll write it up over here 
b1 is equal to mu naught i by 4 pi y so it would be equal to 1 plus x by x square root of x square plus y square again we will solve the uh, solve it for this wire this infinite long carrying con conductor again for this wire also the magnetic field at this point would be inward and its magnitude would be b2 so let it be b2 its magnitude let it be b2 so it would this, this b2 must be equal to mu naught i by 4 pi what would be the perpendicular distance this would be x cos theta 1 cos theta 1 is this angle so this angle is equivalent to this angle is equivalent to theta 1 cos theta 1 for this this would be the cos theta 1 and what about the exterior angle because this wire will go over there to an infinite distance so the outward angle would be 180 degree not 0 degree because we have to find out exterior angle so cos theta 2 would be 180 degree so so the expression would become cos theta 1 inside angle and its outside angle so it would be minus cos 180 degree so this is the expression that we are getting so b2 would be equal to mu naught i by 4 pi x Co what is cos theta 1 cos theta 1 uh, this cos theta 1 must be equal to perpendicular by base so what is perpendicular over here perpendicular is x by okay perpendicular is uh, perpendicular for this uh, cos theta 1 it would be x by uh, this this is x by root of x square plus y square okay for this also the this cos theta 2 would uh, the cos theta 2 in this triangle was base by okay cos theta would uh, 2 was cos theta 2 this angle is also cos theta 2 so this would be base by hypotenuse okay for this song this also for okay this cos theta 1 that we have to calculate that that was this by this not perpendicular by the base by hypotenuse so base was h by oh, what is h over here h is y by root of x square plus y square so we were doing the mistake okay so because this cos theta 1 was base by hypotenuse those this, this base is y not x okay so again further we'll solve it cos 180 degrees minus 1 so it would become 1 so rest everything is simple now the magnetic field because of these two would be added up because they are in same direction so the, the net magnetic field would be b1 plus b2 solve it what will be getting as if i multiply x over uh, in the in numero, numero, uh, num numerator as well as in denominator so this is the expression you will be getting if i multiply y in numerator as well as in denominator so this is the expression that we are getting and we can take mu naught i by 4 pi y x common from both the sides so what you'll be getting as mu naught i by 4 pi x y this you can easily take it as common so if this is expression the x would go inside so inside it would become x plus x square by root of x square plus y square plus over there this y will go inside so you'll be getting as y square plus okay it would go inside y square divided by root of x square plus y square plus y okay so this is expression final expression that we are getting S again we'll solve it and eventually we'll get the answer now it is somewhat lengthy but it is quite easy okay so the net magnetic field would be if I'll add these two, these two would be added up to the final expression that you will be getting is 4 pi x y. So this can come over here x plus y plus of the, the summation of these two terms. The summation of these two terms would be x square plus y square divided by root of x square plus y square. So finally you'll get mu square by 1 4 pi 
x y so this would be root of x square plus y square plus plus x plus y so this is the final answer that we are getting so which would be the our correct option so that means first is our correct option that we are getting okay so this is uh, this is not quite difficult question it is somewhat lengthy but if you are knowing the con if you are knowing the concept then the uh, then the question becomes quite easier for you okay i hope this question is clear to everyone thank you